Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. How bad is my stress fracture? Four critical steps to deciding. Now this is a really important step. When you get a metatarsal stress fracture and you want to get back to running, you have to make an assessment on how bad it really is. The only other option is to stick with the standard treatments of don't do anything for four to six weeks. So here's what you need to do when you're trying to figure out how bad your stress fracture really is. There are four critical steps. First thing is you have to look at your foot. You have to look for signs of injury and make note of them. The second thing, is you have to decide how bad the stress fracture really is based on the amount of tenderness you have. And then the third thing is you have to figure out exactly which metatarsal bone hurts the most and because that's the one with the stress fracture and the one you need to protect. Then you have to make an assessment on how bad the bone hurts. That's step four. Now you have to make note of all four of these things. And the two reasons these steps are so crucial is that you're gonna use these four data points to do a couple of different things. A, it's gonna help you decide how aggressively you need to treat the metatarsal stress fracture right now. And B, it's gonna help you track improvement and help you understand when you're ready to increase your activity. The whole key with healing a metatarsal stress fracture when you're a runner is to not lose your fitness. The bone is healing and getting stronger all the time. You have to increase your activity to match the increase in strength of the healing bone at every stage of healing. If you do that, you can maintain your running fitness and get back to running and full training as fast as possible. The metatarsal stress fracture self-assessment worksheet is going to help you track those changes as they happen. So get the stress fracture self-assessment worksheet, print it out. The PDF's right here on the website. Uh, all you have to do is click on the link below and print it out. Fill it out. Use that information to make the right choices, and it will get you back to running a whole lot sooner. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.